Draw structure and name alkane compounds according to IUPAC rules for straight chain and branch alkane, cyclic alkanes, and alkyl groups. Okay, now let's look at how to draw the structure. Okay, so first of all, we always look for the parent chain first. So the parent chain is octane. So you draw the parent chain octane. Octane is 8 carbon. Okay, then after that, you number the chain. Okay, you can start from left or you can start from you can start from left or you can start from right. Either one is correct. Okay, and then let's say we start from the left hand side. Okay, let's see what do we have. Okay, we have fluorine one, three, and it is written here di. Difluoro means there are do two fluorine at carbon number one and number three. Okay, so put it attached to the carbon. Okay, next one, isopropyl. Okay, so isopropyl, remember, attached to the parent chain use by at the second carbon. Okay, for the three carb carbon chain here. So this is isopropyl at carbon number four. Okay, then we move to the last one that is methyl. Methyl is at carbon number 6. Okay, then after that, you erase the number on the chain. The 1, 2, 3, 4, you can erase it. If you're already familiar, then you don't even have to label it anymore. Now, let's try one question. Draw the molecular structure. Okay, no name, 9 carbon. So, we draw 9 carbon first. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, let's say you start the numbering from left hand side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, 1 cyclopropyl. Okay, cyclo means cyclic propyl 3 carbon. Okay, so 1 cyclopropyl. 7 cyclobutyl. Okay, 7 cyclobutyl means secondary butyl is four carbon okay so if you have to start to understand or remember butyl four carbon this one is secondary carbon this is also a secondary carbon so you can attach to either this carbon or another carbon okay because it is the same it will be sec butyl okay then next one carbon number three is third butyl Okay, third butyl means tertiary. Okay, if let's say you have four carbon, how you can arrange it into tertiary? Okay, one, two, three, tertiary. Okay, so this one, one, two, three. So this is third butyl. Okay, this is sec butyl. Okay, next one. We have done with third butyl. We now we go to two isobutyl. Okay, but just now we have propyl. Propyl is carbon. It's like this shape, carbon number two. For isobutyl, it is just the same as propyl, but it has one more carbon. Okay, it's like a fish tail at the end. Isopropyl also like a fish tail at the end. Okay, so one, two, three. Oh, one more. I've come in. Okay, uh, let me erase it. Should there should be one more carbon? Two. Okay, so we're done with isobutyl. Now we go to five isopropyl. Okay, so one, like a fish tail, one, two, three. Okay, then later you add in all the hydrogen. Remember, all carbon can only have four bonds. Four bonds.
Okay, so we're done. And remember to erase the numbering. Because if you do not erase the numbering, if you do not erase the numbering, then the examiner will think that this is it, it has this much of carbon. Okay, let me see. Is it correct? Okay, yeah, correct. Okay, don't, don't forget about this as well. Okay, so done. Now, another one is name the following compound. Okay, when we want to name it, if you see the condensed structure, okay, what you do is I would recommend you to draw again. C, H3, C, CH3, CH3, CH2, CH3, CHBR, CH, C, CH3, CH3, CL. Okay, so our first task is always to find the longest continuous chain. So our longest continuous chain is, let's try from the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, if you use this part, you get 8 carbon. Okay, now we try another part. Let's say we try from on top here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The green one only has 7 carbon. Okay, is there any other way? Okay, if you use this part, it will still be the same. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, it will be the same. Okay, so we will use the yellow one because yellow has more number of carbon. It is the longest continuous chain. Okay, so if we use the yet eight one means that we know that it is octane. Parent chain is octane. Okay, what are the substituent? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we have five substituent. Okay, so where do we start the numbering? Okay, now we can have two types of numbering. We can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I use another color starting from right hand side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now let's look at the numbering for all the substituent. Okay, let's say we look at the blue one. Blue one is methyl. Methyl we have two, two, and then we have six and seven. And then for the chlorine, we have three. Okay, if we use the green one, okay, for methyl, the green one will be two, three, seven and then chlorine would be number six okay so which one shall we choose is it the green one or is it the blue one okay the answer is the blue one okay why because of alphabetical order okay you can see the blue one also has three the green one methyl also has three okay but when you compare them C has alphabetical order come first. Okay, C comes before M. Okay, so I would choose number three for M. Okay, so the final answer would be... Okay, so alphabetical order first. Three, chlorine. How many methyl do we have? We have three methyl. Two, six, seven, dash, tri methyl octane okay so that is how you name them okay another one is again drawing okay so the parent chain is cyclopentane so cyclo means is there's a cyclic okay after that it has one two dichloro okay so you know that this is one this is two dichloro okay but there's a special one that is 
arrangement, cis. If cis, remember earlier part, when we have cis or trans, we must straighten the chain. Okay, so that is how you draw alkane for linear, branch, and also cyclic. So that's all for this part.